Let's talk deceased. So when someone dies, what do you call, what do you do? Ambulance. You call any ambulance service and they need to come to you to assess that the person is in fact deceased, so they are dead. So they do a couple of tests to see that they are dead. From there, they will then declare. Once declared, they'll call SAPS, who will then certify that the documentation is correct and that no foul play was found. Should foul play be found, an inquest will be opened with SAPS. Okay, and the documentation that the paramedics give will serve as official documentation to what was found on the scene. And then once all that's done, can you call your coroner, who will then fetch the body, depending on your religious beliefs, that either goes to the funeral home or whatever your religious beliefs goes from there. Some ambulance services, private ambulances, do charge a call-out fee. Others don't. Some medical aides pay for the declaration. Some don't. Uh, good for you to just check that with your medical aid. And then the ambulance services that you do call, usually they'll tell you first off that it is a call-out fee for whatever's happened. Uh, you'll be liable for that once they get there. The you know, state does not charge for that. You might wait on quite a while but they don't charge that that that's about that sums it about up as to how to go and where to go i'll put a couple of numbers of ambulance services in the description as well you can have a look there and save the video so that when you do find yourself in this situation hopefully you don't not anytime soon you know who to call where to call if you do like this, I'm looking at doing a couple of these. I just talk about random things. So I'd like to do one on febrile seizures in babies. Okay, so if you want to hear that, then let me know what to do when a baby seizes and they are very warm.